Hi, I'm Zach Smith from Route 113 Boat Sales, and today we're on the Cobalt R6 Outboard. Cobalt is a new uh, brand offering for us at Route 113 Boat Sales, and we're really excited to have them. So take a few minutes, let's walk around this boat, check out some of the great facts and features on the Cobalt R6, then we'll take it for a quick spin and let you know what I think of the Cobalt R6 Outboard. swim platform the Cobalt R6 outboard. A couple cool features to point out on this boat. We have a Yamaha 300 XB. Uh, this engine has a digital electronic steering cylinder, which a lot of our competition don't use. They still use the old school bolt on hydraulics. We also have a fold down swim platform on this side and a pull out dive ladder on that side. Uh, fusion stereo controls, freshwater shower, four cup holders in the stern here, including oversized cup holders for 30 ounce Yeti cups as well as two aft-facing speakers, so if you're hanging out in the water at the sandbar or something like that, you can still hear the music in the boat. Boarding on the Cobalt R6 outboard is a breeze with a center companionway here that splits these two aft loungers. These backrests flip forward to give you a nice aft lounge space. The port side passenger has control of the stereo, as well as a freshwater shower, two cup holders, one for a 30 ounce Yeti, and a regular size can. On the opposite side, we have another aft-facing lounger with two cup holders as well. Index storage in the floor in the companionway that is fiberglass and finished, so you don't have any carpet or anything in this boat that will create mold or mildew smell. Check out the transom on the Cobalt R6 outboard. We talked about these uh, aft-facing lounge seats. When they're in the other position, they create a really nice place to sit while you're running. These guys here lift up and give you a cavernous storage compartment there give you a better shot of those two cup holders there. You have two more cup holders there with a dual USB charger, two more there with another USB charger. Flip this up, we have cooler storage with cobalt cooler bag. Coming over to this side, we have uh, our electrical distribution panel and a trash can. Again, all finished fiberglass, no carpet. And then underneath it here, we have yet another cavernous storage compartment. Right in front of me here, we have more storage in the floor, as well as access to our uh, freshwater strainer right there. Over on the companion side of the Cobalt R6 outboard, we have this great flip-flop backrest here that creates a nice aft lounging seat for the companion side of the boat, should you choose to. Or it flips back this way and creates a forward-facing companion seat. This seat features a flip-up bolster, so if you want to get a little bit more height, you can. Then right in front of that, we have our uh, head compartment. Inside the head compartment, we have a real porcelain vacuum flush head from the Medic. We have a sink, storage compartment, and a vent window in there to vent it. Coming back from there, we have a glove box on the top here, the two storage cubbies here with dual USB charger, nice armrest on that side, and a little storage cubby with two cup holders and a J Audio speaker on that side. Coming over to the driver's side on the Cobalt R6 outboard, a couple of really cool features that set us apart from the competition. We have dual Garmin, eight or 10 inch screens set in this beautiful black anodized aluminum for the Cobalt glass helm. We have these black buttons again, set in that beautiful black anodized aluminum. And then even the Fusion Stereo is inset here to give a nice finished glass helm appearance. Upgraded gusset steering wheel with matching leather and uh, offset stitching for the match the interior. Coming over from there, we have a wireless phone charger, Lenko trim tab controls, windlass control, and electric seat control. This is actually an electrically actuated seat. Yamaha binnacle falls nicely to hand there with a complimentary armrest. And then right below that, we have the fold down bolster for this seat. This seat features beautiful diamond stitching on the back with a cubby and offset stitching in it. Really comfortable, nice uh, upgraded help seat. Coming up through the companionway on the Cobalt R6 outboard, a couple really cool features. We have this fold out windshield that locks in place here, flips out, and then we have a partition wall that folds out here. If you're out boating on a windy day, you can get out of the weather a little bit. That shuts back down and locks. Right behind that, we have our companionway storage ski locker right here, which is cavernous. I can actually lay down inside of. That's on dual actuators too, so you don't have to hold it open. That shuts down and locks. As we move a little bit further forward, we have another storage compartment right here with drain, gasket, and gas strut. So it should keep everything in there dry. And I want to stress again that these compartments are fully fiberglass. There's no carpet in them anywhere, so you're not gonna get that mold mildew smell that you get from a lot of our competition's boats. Checking out the bow on the Cobalt R6 outboard, a couple of really cool features that kind of set us apart from the competition. First and foremost, on the driver's side here, 
you have a seat where you can actually sit with your feet flat on the floor should you choose to. Grab holder or grab handle here. JL Audio speaker with three cup holders as well. There's also a filler cushion that can drop in here if you want to create a lounge uh, chair on this side. Over on here, we have storage underneath of here. Again, all finished fiberglass. You have storage underneath of here as well with access to your amplifiers and storage for your bow filler cushion set that can turn this whole bow into a day bed. Up forward of that, we have our windlass uh, anchor locker. This is a full chain windlass with a Lumar stainless steel polished anchor and electric windlass control with controls inside of here to raise it and lower it. Again, you have grab rails on both sides, cup holders on both sides, beautiful diamond stitching on both sides and JL Audio uh, speakers with full USB chargers as well. Driving the Cobalt R6 outboard. Um, first impressions, this boat feels like a much more premium boat than it is. Um, I mean, Cobalt's at the top of their pack, but it feels like a $300,000 boat. This beautiful acrylic here and these inset Garmin screens is something you don't typically see on a boat at this price point. The nice upright Garmin's are super easy to read. I love that they put the uh, Cobalt R6 actually on the Garmin screen there. This upgraded gusting steering wheel is an expensive option, but it really improves the overall feel of the cockpit here. Fusion stereo and all your switch gear fall nicely to hand. And the beautiful thing with this windshield placement is I can see through it without this bar obstructing my view. And a lot of that's thanks to this power operated seat. So this seat raises and lowers, so no matter what height you are, you can get over the dash and under the bar and be able to see really clearly. Um, Yamaha digital electronic steering and shift make it as smooth and seamless as it can be as far as driving the boat. Um, wireless phone charger lays right there, so if you are out on the water all day, you can control your phone, your music, and everything right there easily to hand. Um, JL Audio speaker on that subject for everybody on the boat has a great listening experience. There's a subwoofer right behind me here um, to again improve that sound quality. I, I, I can't say enough about how nice everything you feel and sit in and touch is just great materials all the way around. So let's go ahead and pop this thing up on plane and see how it does at some speed. The boat pops right up on plane. Uh, we're cruising along at 3,800 RPMs right now, doing 30 miles an hour. I'm below the windshield, so I'm out of the wind. We've got the partition closed, so again, we're, we're comfortable inside of here. Uh, and the boat overall just feels really solid. There's not a lot of uh, no creaks or rattles. Everything feels planted. And because of that steep dead rise we carry, we can actually take this boat and bend it hard over. And see this comes right around. No sliding out, no skipping, nothing like that. And as we come back across our wake dealer, I'm not sure if this will convey in the video, but we have nothing rattling, nothing creaking, nothing uh, uh, sounding out of place. This boat is overall put together really well, really solid quality boat. Check out the Cobalt R6 outboard with us. We're super excited to have Cobalt as part of our model offerings for the 2024 model year. Uh, the Cobalt R6 is a great boat for our area with a great head, nice layout, and great performance. We're super, super happy with them. I'm really excited about it. Let us know what you think of the boat in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss another video. I'm Zach Smith. Thank you for watching.